hello guys my name is Kishan and today I wanted to talk about this error which says cannot drop a user that is currently connected yes many times you might have come across the situation where you are trying to drop a user but you know you get an error saying you cannot drop that because the user is currently connected to the database now it might happen that the user is not connected on your system but can be connected anywhere through the network uh, or there might be a backend scheduler job running which is which is connecting to the database through that user in any in any such scenario you can get this error now if you desperately want to drop this user be very sure that it's not an important user you are very sure to drop it the user is not connected through any process or it's not doing anything which is really important or does not hold it any you know important data and if you really want to drop it there are two ways one is you can just restart the database do a shutdown immediate which would disconnect all the users and shut down the database you can then do a startup and bring the database up and then drop it but you know in big databases you cannot really wait for a shutdown and startup that might take a lot of time and if it's very important to drop the user at front what you can do is you can kill the session yes so I will show you the second way of killing the session and dropping the user so as you can see I am trying to drop the user Kishan here so it gives me this error ORA 01940 cannot drop a user that is currently connected okay the cause is attempt was made to drop a user that is currently logged in action it's recommend is make sure user is logged off then repeat the command so I have connected that user here in the command prompt as you can see it says SQL plus Kishan Kishan I just logged on over here so now I want to drop that user but how I'll not just close the session I'll kill that session so make sure that you have these rights privileges to do it okay so the table that we will use is select star from v dollar session now this v dollar session is actually a database view what it shows you it shows the details of all the connected users their SID serial number where are they connected from what is the server what is the status much details you know we don't need really to go into all these columns actually which machine you are connected to which port you are connected to everything terminal is my uh, nothing but my systems name so it will give you all these details even if you are connected through SQL developer or toad or command prompt or through another process you will get all that details here you will even see whether the um, user is active or not all those details but we really not, n not need all those things we only need two things that is the SID and the serial number okay so you can write SID select SID and serial number from VDL or session where username is equal to the user that you are trying to drop in my case it's Kishan so if I do just this I'll get the SID and the serial number of the connected session so there can be multiple also like one user can be connected uh, from multiple places to the database so it can be multiple so to kill the session all you can all you have to do is write this command alter system so you must have privileges to do this do an alter system okay then there is very simple kill session alter session kill session fine which session just give 200 comma that is the SID comma the serial number that is 38 execute it it says system kill altered so now the that user is disconnected okay if you want to make sure just go to that I'll just show you that the user is disconnected it just it it would show you over here that it is it seems connected but if I try and execute a statement it will say your session has been killed so this session is killed okay if I do it again it will give the uh, the details such as this session ID 200 and serial number 38 with process ID this is no longer connected it shows that it is connected but it is not and if now if I go ahead and just do and drop user 
it would drop the user because it's not connected to the system anymore you can just go ahead and drop the user so see as you can see user question is dropped over here you can go back here try the SQL statement it will just keep on giving this error actually there's no the user is dropped if I try and connect again with Kishan Kishan it is it says invalid user password log on denied because the user does not exist anymore it has been successfully dropped so this was the video on how to drop the user when it is connected from somewhere or where you whenever you get that ORA 1940 cannot drop a user error hope this video was informative and you guys enjoyed watching it please do leave on comments about your experience in using this command do let me know anything more any useful videos if you want me to I have got a lot of requests from you guys for a video on Oracle hints and performance tuning I'll be making it soon thank you for the engagement this is Kishan signing off bye bye